70, Al Mukhtadar, the powerful, the dominant, the enforcer, Almighty. Al Mukhtadar is one of the 99 names of Allah, God, mentioned in Islamic tradition. Al Mukhtadar, Al Muqtadaru, is an Arabic name that translates to the All Powerful or the Almighty. It is derived from the Arabic root word tra, which means power, capability, or authority. This name signifies Allah's absolute power and authority over all things, it highlights his ability to accomplish anything and everything according to his will and divine plan. As the creator and sustainer of the universe, Allah has complete control and dominion over everything in existence. Nothing is beyond his power, and he has the ability to determine the course of events in the world. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is al Mukhtadar in Arabic, al Muqtadaru, the all-powerful who delivers a suitable measure of all things, he has absolute strength, power, and mastery. If he wished, he could bring about the day of judgment today, but he chooses not to, everything is done according to his knowledge, the reason for not doing so is up to him. He's fixed an appointed time, and nothing can resist his plan, similar to Al-Kahar, the irresistible. Coupling of the name al mukhtadar with the name Al-Malik, the king, in a seat of honor near a sovereign, perfect in ability, Quran 54-55. Imam Zaruk wrote, al Mukhtadar comes from Ikhtar, which is to overpower whoever he granted a portion of power to. As such, it reverts to the gathering meaning encompassed by the name Al-Malik, it is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala who has complete and total power, he puts into creation whatever power they possess. No creation by itself is powerful except that Allah has made it such. If Allah is your helper none can overcome you, and if he withdraw his help from you, who is there who can help you after him? In Allah let believers put their trust, Quran 3-160. And present to them the example of the life of this world, its being, like rain which we send down from the sky, and the vegetation of the earth mingles with it. And, then, it becomes dry remnants, scattered by the winds, and Allah is ever, over all things, perfect in ability, Quran 1845. The weight of the world is on the shoulders of the one who believes everything is his doing, any failure or success is believed by him to be attributed to him. This is a very unhealthy attitude and can be the root cause of many personal troubles, from extreme egotism to self-hatred and anxiety. There is still personal accountability and responsibility, no doubt. Anas bin Malik narrated that a man said, O Messenger of Allah, Shall I tie it and rely on Allah, or leave it loose and rely on Allah? He said, Tie it and rely on Allah, do what is required and leave the rest up to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. If what you wish to achieve comes true, Alhamdulillah, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given you the power and allowed it to be. But if things don't go the way you imagined, say Alhamdulillah for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala knows best. For we do determine, according to need, for we are the best to determine things, Quran 77 23, submit to Allah's will become in love with it, and embrace it. This is the route for the one who wants to receive his love, blessings, and power, it's important not to indulge in unnecessary self-criticism. There is a healthy form of guilt and an unhealthy form, a normal person may feel shame or embarrassed in failing an exam, but to what degree depends entirely on the circumstance. With the analogy of the camel, the question would be, do you sincerely believe you had done your part in preparation? Did you study, seek the help of teachers, assistants, tutors, or online videos? 
Did you do all that you could have done? If not, let this failure serve as feedback that leads to behavior change, don't repeat the mistake of the past. If you are stressed, there's often an underlying cause, take the first step to address it because negligence would be from yourself. In the story of Prophet Musa, as, when he tried to break up the fight, he had no intention of killing the man. As soon as he realizes that the man has died, he says, this is from the work of Satan, indeed, he is a manifest, misleading enemy. He felt remorseful immediately and began praying to Allah, Rabbi Nizalim to Nafsi Fafirli meaning, My Lord, indeed I have wronged myself, so forgive. In the same ayah, we are told Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala responded to this call, and he forgave him, indeed, he is the forgiving, the merciful, Quran 28 18. From what we know of the story is Musa, as, did not dwell on this failure or mistake, he made sincere repentance, and the story continues. He forgave himself just as Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala had forgiven him. The only way to get rid of the skeletons in your closet is to pile so much good on top of it that it becomes hidden from view. Musa, as, shifted his focus from his dire state to seeking good that could be done in the name of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. My Lord, indeed I am. For whatever good you would send down to me, in need, Quran 28-24. Now, if you can confidently say there is nothing more you could have done, then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala knows best, and we can only connect the dots looking back. General understanding based on Islamic scholarship follows. 1. Supreme authority and power, al Mukatatar highlights Allah's ultimate authority and absolute power over all things in the universe. It signifies his ability to govern the heavens and the earth and to enforce his divine will without any limitations or constraints. Allah's power is beyond measure and beyond human comprehension. 2. Universal control, al Mukatatar signifies Allah's complete control over all affairs in the universe. No matter how great or small, complex or simple, Allah has power and authority over every matter. He has the ability to create, sustain, and cause changes in the world according to His wisdom and divine plan. 3. Divine Decree, as al Mukatatar, Allah possesses the power to determine and decree everything that occurs in the universe. He is the one who ordains destiny in the course of events, whatever Allah wills, happens, and whatever He does not will, does not occur. His power encompasses both physical and metaphysical aspects of existence. 4. Manifestation in Creation the name al Mukatatar also manifests in the creations of Allah, displaying His power and ability. The intricate design of the universe, the natural laws governing it, and the diversity of life all demonstrate the wisdom and capability of the All-Powerful. Muslims invoke the name al Mukatatar to recognize Allah's supreme power and to seek His aid and guidance. It reminds believers of their reliance on Allah's strength and the necessity of turning to Him for assistance in all matters. It also serves as a reminder that no matter how difficult a situation may seem, Allah is capable of resolving it with His infinite power and wisdom. Muslims reflect on this name to deepen their understanding of Allah's immense power and to strengthen their trust in His ability. To handle any situation or resolve any difficulty they may face, it reminds believers that they are dependent on Allah's power and should seek His guidance and assistance in all matters. Additionally, it encourages Muslims to submit to Allah's will and to rely on His ultimate power and control in all aspects of their lives.